This is uh, part eight of a tutorial series on the PolyEd tool in modeling mode in UE 5.1. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show the insert edge loop tool, which uh, has quite a few capabilities. Uh, sort of basic operation. You start this tool, and you'll be able to you know, drag over the model and in places where there's continuous loops of quads or strips of quads, you'll be able to just click to insert loops. So you can use that to you know, quickly make shape, you know, split up the, mo the existing faces into sort of smaller uh, poly groups. Click done. Now I can, you know, do some uh, shape edits there. Maybe push pull that through to make a, a cutout. So let's just roll those back. Uh, so insert edge loop. So that was the proportion offset mode. Um, what I can also do is I can uncheck. So and essentially that works by um, the hit point I have, I can change this to even. And when it's an even mode, it's always going to be in the middle. And then in even mode, I can set the number of loops. So I can set this to like five loops. Uh, and now it's going to cut this shape up into five. You know, I could do that again if I wanted some really fine subdivisions there. Uh, apologies for the flickering you see sometimes. This is a, a bug we currently have. Uh, insert loops also works on curved shapes. So if I go into polyed here, uh, and insert edge loop, I can do the same sort of loop cuts uh, on the sphere here and it'll sort of cut along curves. So that's just to note that this uses plane cut mode. So there's also a retriangulate mode. If I do that on a curved surface, it's not going to do nice things because it's going to retriangulate uh, the sort of borders of the loops. Retriangulate does work better on um, if you've got planar faces. So I'll just show you here if I don't use retriangulate, uh, if I use plane cut and I do a couple of cuts here, we turn wireframe on, you see it's made quite a few mess or quite a mess of the shape because it's essentially doing a plane cut through the whole shape each time. Um, so you can clean that up if I click done here and do simplify by groups, it will simplify them all to simple faces. But uh, you could also use uh, the retriangulate mode and it will do that incrementally as you go along and you won't end up with that mess of faces. Okay, so that's proportion offset mode. So the other thing I can do is I can uncheck interactive here and now I get a slider for the proportion. So instead of where my cursor is, it uses this number. So I could set this to like nine and now I'm saying essentially, you know, split the edge here at 90%. Uh, the thing to know though is that now I made this head shorter, so if I keep doing that, the spacing is going to get <clears throat> smaller and smaller. So that might not be what you want. So there's also distance offset mode. So distance mode lets you type in a number here. So I've got it set to five. So now when I, um, you know, go around the faces here, and uh, you sometimes you, you have to hunt a little bit for a, an edge that'll give you the right an edge to hover over that'll give you the split you want. Um, but you see, so now each of those is the same size. So that works even, um, you know, if I set this back to interactive, I can, you know, click here and then turn that off. And if I wanted to like inset another row of five, there's this one, you know, from those three border faces, for instance, um, those will be exactly the same distance and then I can maybe extrude this inwards. This is really good for making things like windows and doors and a block out. You can just um, add, add little borders to things really easily using the insert edge loops. Um, so one other thing to know about insert edge loops, so this will still work. You know, I'll be able to insert edge loops through that complex face here. Um, but if I take this face here and I decompose it into two triangles, now when I go to insert edge loops along that edge there, it's going to not, it can't insert across that triangle. Um, uh, if we make a new box, uh, there's actually a, it's not appearing in the other one. Um, decompose and then insert edge loop. You see now it's showing me these red X's. Those, those X's mean that's the sort of vertices preventing or the face preventing the loop from being inserted. So um, I put this back to interactive. 
I can insert a loop around the bottom along the quad shaped faces, but it won't insert over the top through these triangles. Um, so that's just something to know. Oh, so it can, once you have these non quad faces, some weird stuff can happen. Like it found a path through a set of quads there across the top. So that's, that was a little unexpected. Um, but that's this highlight problem group. If you uncheck that, it won't show you the errors, but when it's checked, it'll show you those red X's. Uh, okay, and that is the insert edge loop operation.